Ucentine Media presents Lang Anatomy Flashcards. These flashcards allow you to learn your anatomy, to quiz yourself, to test yourself, and to be ready to ace any anatomy exam in any school, whether it be medical school, nursing school, or an allied health professional school. Once you go to the contents, you can see the different sections set up pretty standardly like you would see in any anatomy textbook with the back, the thorax, the abdomen, the head, the neck, and the limbs. Once you decide you want to explore a certain area, you click on it and you'll see that within the back there are multiple views of anatomical structures. And each anatomical structure is marked with a number and they're pins that move around the anatomy to allow you to specifically center in or focus in on a certain spot. Once you're here, you can look at the answers so that you can see what each number represents. And if you want to focus in on the area so you can see it better, you can just do this and take a look at various parts of the anatomy in closer focus. And let's say you want to look at the neck and you can do this and bring it down and there you go, you're seeing the cervical vertebrae with more detail. Now, you can go back to the card and you can mark it if you want to go back to it that is a bookmark. You can make a note if you want to say something about the bones you can do that here. And we can go back to our table of contents. Now, let's say we want to do something like a search. Let's say we were searching for information about the hip. Let's say your next anatomy exam is going to be on the hip and the lower extremity. So let's learn our hip and we get a search that tells us all the times that hip occurs within the text and the times that it occurs within images themselves. So these are the images with the word hip and then this is text because they're also not only a hip in the name of the image, but in the structures, in the description of the anatomy. Uh, so there's a lot of information uh, about the hip. And this is showing us how the hip moves. It's a very interesting joint. So let's go to the actual flashcard because we're looking at the answers. Now let's look at the flashcard so that we can learn it and quiz ourselves. So if we're going to learn the hip, we would go one structure at a time like this as we click forward. That's one way to learn it. We can go back to the answers and we can look at it this way with the numbers and the answers. And then if we want to actually quiz ourselves, we can start a quiz like this. We hit quiz. And first it's going to ask us, in a sort of random order, where is the lateral external hip rotation motion? Now this is going to be functional more than structural anatomy, but whether we're looking at function or structure, the uh, process of quizzing and testing yourself, uh, these are all the same. So let's see if we can figure out the lateral external hip rotation. So let's say it's 5. We'll click there and we'll check to see, ah, we got it correct. Now that is good. Now we go to the next, and it's asking us about hip flexion. Let's try number four. Let's see whether we got that. Ah, again we got it correct. We're on a roll. Hip abduction. Adduction. Oh, we have to make sure we read, read it correctly. So here, adduction. I always remember that ab goes out and adduction goes in. So let's try two for adduction. Ah, and there we go. We got it. Now I'd like to show you how something go when what it looks like when you get a wrong answer. So even though I know all these answers, 
I'm going to answer one wrong. I'm going to make hip extension. Let's let's do purposely do something wrong here. Number one, we know that's not hip extension, but we want to see what happens when you get a wrong answer. Ah, it says wrong. Try again. Now the nice thing is, instead of saying wrong and moving on, you get a chance to try and uh, correct yourself. So let's say now we remember. Oh yes, hip extension is like this. We do that with the psoas sign. Let's go ahead and click number three. Let's see. We, ah, we got that one correct. Very good. Well, let's finish our quiz so you can see what the answers look like at the end. Medial hip rotation. Okay, this is the internal hip rotation. Let's see what we got here. Make sure we always check our answer before we move on. And abduction. Remember, ab, out. I always remember that, like about. So that's going to be our number one. Check to uh, the answer again. And here we go. And now we see our answers. We get our score, 83%. That's not too bad, uh, particularly since I uh, purposely threw one. Um, okay, and then we can look and see how um, the answers were uh, described to us and where we get. And it always will show the wrong ones at the top. Therefore, you can go back to study those if you'd like. Now, Let's see. we want to learn a little bit about how it keeps statistics. We could go all the way back to the beginning here, and we can look at our percentage stats. So let's go to the stats here. Let's see what our highest average score is. Well, we've only done one, so it's going to be this 83% showing this, the hip actions. And if we've done others, we would show the other ones that were completed. and. We could also look at our scores in all different ways. Uh, best scores and highest number of tries, all these different methods to look at your uh, test uh, quiz. Those are actually those are your quiz statistics. And then there's the test statistics. Now, when we want to do a test, there's a lot more complexity here. We actually can make our own tests. I made one earlier, which was a random test. And we haven't really done that yet, so this would be a random test. And the, what makes a test harder is that here you actually, when you click the number to identify, you have to actually type your, your answer. So let's say um, we're just going to, we can't, uh, we're not sure what this is. We see there's something blue under there. We think it's some kind of a vein. Uh, we could start typing vein. Um, but it will only show us some of the choices that are uh, available here. So let's see what let's see if we get a uh, oh, in fact, we won't even know the answers. The test is going to have we're going to have to answer all the questions before we can uh, find out the answers. So this is clearly more challenging. But this is what you do after you know uh, your anatomy. I wouldn't even attempt to do the test on an area that I hadn't already looked at because it is challenging. But that's the quality that you need to know before going into a uh, test in your anatomy lab. So you could set up your tests by choosing random cards. You can choose it a certain number of cards you want to do your test. Let's say you make it here is a test that we just created with 10 cards. Now we could create a test out of our bookmark cards. We've already bookmarked three cards, so those are the ones that we have already studied. So we might want to go and do our test on ones we've studied. That's a nice feature. So you can see, you can go through your anatomy uh, looking at it uh, by organ system or, or type of structure, uh, whether it be uh, the back or the thorax or abdomen or head. You can do your search by specific words. You can create tests for yourselves. You can look at your results. And you even have more that you can do. And this is where you would go and actually look at the notes that you had written uh, before here. And you can um, go and see what, what are the areas you've bookmarked, maybe things you want to go back to. And then we also tell you a bit about the app who developed the original uh, set of flashcards and who developed the app. And so this is done by Usatine Media. 
And if you'd like to learn more about our apps, you can go to our website, uctmedia.com. You can email us, and you'll see all kinds of medical apps that um, Peter Erickson and myself, Dr. Usatine, have created to help you in your medical education. And I hope you've enjoyed this video.